such displeasure and disappointment. Nothing works, even though every calculation is precise. Now an interruption. How infuriating. Divine energy. I'll have you know I participated in Lord Sothis Seal's nine analyses of the exalted enigmas. But we have more important matters. I'm about to determine the correlation between color and time. And I could use another set of hands. A reciprocal exchange. Interesting, yes. I can see the benefits of such an arrangement. Very well. Just activate the crystals in the proper sequence while I modulate the energy flow. Such are the benefits of an extra set of appendages. The energy flows freely and without disruption, allowing the rods and the pistons to align in a most pleasing manner. <laughs> Scent, how intriguing. I was just thinking about my former master, Sofa Seal, and the experiments we conducted. Not while I assisted him. He had a tool that he used to drain away minute bits of his own divine energy to store and study. He could extract it and return it as he saw fit. More questions? <laughs> Well, Lord Sofa Seal attributed curiosity to intellectual superiority. Suppose I should do the same. Odd question. Is a hammer a weapon? A saw? A Dwemer spring spanner? No, it was just a tool. A device crafted by Sofa Seal to... Haven't a clue. Tools have a way of wandering off when you don't stay vigilant. I was his apprentice, but that was years ago. Spent time working in the Clockwork City. The Arch Colonel. Lord Vivek's High Priest. Suddenly the gear is alive. I can think of a number of reasons that Alm and V would want to know about C and his tools. But some doors just shouldn't be opened. He's the father of mysteries and the architect of time. One of the tribunal. The three living gods of the Dark Elves. Creates all sorts of helpful and intriguing devices. Like the Clockwork City. I haven't seen my old master in many years. It's a wonder and a miracle. All brass tunnels, glass domes, and giant gears. At last, did you see what's happening outside? Red Mountain rumbles louder and more frequently. The sky grows dark, and worst of all, the people are beginning to notice. In part, Lord Vivek is... not well. I'll review these documents and present your findings to Lord Vivek. I was against bringing you into this investigation, but I was wrong. Very well. Tell me what you learned at each of the locations. 
and let's see what conclusions we can come to. Berelzar faithfully served Sothisir. He's as loyal to the Tribunal as I am. He would never intentionally harm Lord Vivek. But that tool he mentioned. Lord Vivek doesn't want his followers to see him in such a weakened state. So your notes say, and this Saren assisted you. Interesting. Most Ashlanders want nothing to do with the Tribunal. Interesting theory. Perhaps Chodola's staff can steal Vivek's energy. From what you discovered, I dare say there may be a correlation between the narcotic relic and the tool Barrelzal mentioned. And it seems the Ashlander themes are connected to Chodola. So it appears. Lord Vivek's doing his best not to complain, but I can see how much the draining of his energy has cost him. Vivek isn't receiving visitors today. My lord, please let me send for aid. Perhaps one of the healers can help you. Pain is best tolerated in private. As I have written in the 37th ballot, there must be something I can do. You can call the Archcanon. He should hear the news our friend brings us. The river drains into the sea, as my divinity flows out of me. Hmm. Need some work. An Ashlander? That seems unlikely, but I trust your instincts. We need to find out more about this Chodala and the ancient enemy that aids him. My lord, the Outlander may have actually discovered something. After further examination of the documents you brought back, I have to agree with your assessment. Not exactly, but now that we know that the affliction isn't natural, we can work toward a solution, one that probably involves Chodala's staff. Eventually, but we need to be cautious. If Chodala is as respected as you say, attacking him would start a war we can't afford to partake in. Get to Orb and locate Saren. She needs to tell us more about Chodala and then help us acquire his staff. Didn't we cover this? But... Ah, a fellow outsider in this inhospitable... Dreleth Hilaron of House Redoran at your service. Though I doubt I'll be very useful here. This is... I'm researching for my family's ancestral tomb, you see. Unfortunately, yes. First, pay respect to Farsia Kwamta. She walks the red path this year, and it's customary to wish her well. Footsteps are as loud as a kagutis. What have you now? Then you have my thanks and my curiosity also. Outsiders rarely show us such respect. When Remarkable. You would honor our ancestors. Very well. I give you my blessing. 
For Ahemusa, an ashen fern. For Erebinimsum, the weapon of an exile slain by your hand. For Urshilaku, the bones of a guar returned to ash. And for Zainab, the hidden treasure of a Kwama queen. We were... Yes, though becoming is a clumsy word for it. Yes. Outlander, quickly! This way! I've been thinking about my brother's claim that he's the Nerevarian since we last spoke. No matter how I try, the word tastes false on my tongue. And now I fear he's about to convince the wise woman that his quest for power will benefit the tribes. My brother is respected and revered. He has allies in all of the tribes, not to mention his personal red exiles. We have to proceed with caution. We talk to my brother, try to convince him this isn't the way. Hoping she'd be here. You're too late, dear sister. Despite your protestations, the wise woman has gone to the cave of the incarnate to confirm my claim. Brother, do you really want to pursue this dangerous course? There was a time when you gave me your unconditional support, Saren. I miss those days. <sighs> my brother Chodala is about to do something foolish. And dangerous. He's about to claim the title of the Nerevarine and try to unite the Ashlander tribes gathered here. He already convinced the Red Exiles to support him. He's using them to intimidate the other tribes. Wise woman Dovrasi, the most respected counselor and spirit guide this side of Red Mountain. Agreed, but I dare not leave Chodala alone with the tribes. I feel the hand of Azura in all this. Go to the cavern of the Incarnate and talk to the wise woman. The caverns to the northeast of Aldrin, on the other side of the mountain. Hopefully, the rumbling and lava won't slow you down too much. Get to the... I heard you were there when She Morlock won't refuse my claim. Just in case, make sure the Red Exiles are ready. Your word is
You there. Keep your head down and come here. Hope you're not looking for passage off the island. The crew's on shore leave, see? The permanent kind. Ugly business. A deal gone bad. I work for an orc boss named Kartog. We're rope fish. People smugglers. Slaves pay us out the arse for a trip to the mainland. Yeah. It came down on us like an arse-branded ogre. We gave as good as we got. It wasn't enough. Oh, good on you for doing this, mate. Kartog's an idiot, but he doesn't deserve what the Kamana Tongue will do to him. He should have made a deal. Please, Sarah, do not hurt me. Wait, who are you? You do not serve the Kamanatong. Ah, uh, thank the hist. Yes, I think so. Did you find Mopka? Jari? The Kaman I knew it. I should never have left him. I can still see the look in his eyes. I will. Thank you, friend. May Sith is my eternal thanks.
slave. Unless you'd prefer no. to lose some fingers. Do not put me in chains again. No one will. Thank you, stranger. I was near to slitting my own wrists. If it's to be slavery or suicide, I'll take suicide. Slave? Do you not mean slaves? Mobkir and Wiwaska escaped, didn't they? Mobkir is dead? But he was alive when I... I'm free and in your debt. Let the beast bleed. A slow death is all he deserves. Killed by a damned elf. What a way to go. Looks like you came up short. <laughs> it's poison, see? Dirty little shrimp douche. couldn't take me straight up. Had to poke me with a poisoned blade. Typical. Moloch, I don't know. Maybe I didn't like the way they asked. You do that. Because of you, we may find you. There you are. I heard about Mabkir. He's dead. Damn. At least he died knowing you'd rescued this lot.
This is Magister Gothran's private property. Keep walking. Elvani, the greatest of the great houses. Yeah. Yeah. 